the $1,100 main event. Starting stack is 30k. There's hour levels. It's a great structure. Bad opponents. Let's have fun and try to play well. We sit down with our chips and immediately realize we left our seat cushion in our room and come back 10 minutes later, win a pot. So right off the rip, our stack's 34k with blinds at 100, 200 with a 200 button nanny all thoroughly. We are under the gun with ace nine of clubs and we raise to 600. 3x is okay when you're this deep. The button three bets to 1800 and it folds back to us. We call and go heads up to a flop of seven, three deuce with two clubs. So we got overs in the nut flush draw. That's good. This is good. We check. The button bets 2200 into a pot of 4100 A little bigger than the population normally does in three-bet pots, but this deep, who the fuck knows, whatever. We could raise, but if he has over pairs or jams or only re-raises big, like, like a lot of the time, we're going to have to fold maybe, and that would suck. And we just don't want to get blown off our equity. There's no name, blah, 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 whatever. So we just call. Turn is an ace. So we both check. The river comes the eight of clubs. So we make the nuts, even though we were maybe already good with our ace. We got to go for value. He checked back on, on, on the turn. Um, we decide to bet 4K into a pot of 8,500, and he calls. We win a nice pot. 200, 400, 400. We have ace, eight of hearts, and raise under the gun to 800. Now we're calming down. We're going to min raise. Under the gun, plus two, three bets us to 2,500. Similar hand as the first one, and similar action to the last hand. With a suited middle ace, we call and go heads up to a flop again. And just like last time, we flop a flush draw when it comes jack, five, three. We have the nut flush draw again. We check. He bets 2,200 into 6K now. And this time we decide to check raise instead of check call. We just check raise to 6K. And this is different in this regard from the last hand because the board being jack high means his pocket nines, tens, eights don't get to blow us off our equity now if they wanted to. Blah, blah, blah. You guys may not fucking care about all this. But anyway, we check raise to 6K. He calls, fuck, wait, now we got a hit or I don't know what cards to rep on. I regret everything. Turn is a five, pairing the middle card. We check and he bets 8,500 now. In game, I was being a little degen, but I felt I had too much equity to fold, although I probably should, but I call. The river comes, not a heart. It's the 10 of whatever. And we assume we lose, ready to check fold like a dick bag. We check, he snaps, checks back. And he has ace nine. Let's fucking go. We chop crazy pop. Thank God. So this is just a tournament hand that many of you guys, if you watch cash game blogs, you may not hear hands like this. King four off in the big blind, right? That's what we got. The hijack is raised to 800 and min raised. We defend and we're heads up to a flop. It comes queen, jack, nine. We check. He bets 800. And with our gut shot and over blah, 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 we call. Turn comes an eight. So it's a four line to the straight. And we consider donk leading, actually. I'm not sure if this is a thing, but whatever. We're in Uruguay in the streets. And, but we decide to check. And then he tells us that without any doubt, he has not a 10 when he checks back. So heading to the river, now that we know basically he doesn't have a 10, he doesn't have a straight, we're ready to bluff literally any card. It comes a jack and we bet 2,500 and he folds. And so like I said, this is a minor hand, but I think important to illustrate the little ones. I don't really know why. I don't know what the fuck. Whatever. So. A 300-600 with a 600 button ante. We're under the gun with King Jack off and raised to 1,200. We get three callers, including a relatively short stack big blind. He's 11K behind. I guess he's not that short. He is whatever, 18 big, but... Flop comes Jack, 10, 6, two-tone. Pretty good flop for us, but anytime your multi-way is a little scarier. Big blind checks, we check. Middle position, old medium rare guy, bets 3K. Other dude folds in the big blind, jams his 11K. Now we're in a spot where we have top pair, a good kicker. I don't think we can fold. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't know, man. It's like it's like when there's an action like this in front of you, multi ways, it, it should be scarier. But ultimately we decide we just got a call. And the middle position, oldish man who bet 3K, cries like a baby then folds. What are we up against? Queen Jack, the big blind has. We win, knocking him out, and we have 76k in our stack now. Let's fucking go, baby. At 400, 800, with an 800 button ante, the low jack has raised to 2k. And off our 76k stack, we have 10 nine of hearts in the cutoff. We call, but the big blind fucks shit up. He three bets to 10.4k. The low jack, the original raiser, bails on us. So now it's just me. I can take a flop in position with a good hand relatively deep so we call we take a flop it comes ace jack ace it's not hearts 
he checks and he looks scared. He's old. So I'm like, you know what? Yo, fuck it. Let me stab 8K. This will just get him to snap fold as like 10s, queens, maybe kings. He, he might pussy out. I don't know. So we bet 8K and he folds. Nice. Yo, good, good fucking result, bro. We play one hand out of the chip cock, but we get dealt queen seven off. So we switch back to playing out of the chip hack. Now we're in the big blind. Renee from Storage Wars, who works with ACR, limps the 800 for middle position. The button raises to 2200. And in the big blind, we look down at 8-5 of spades. We call, assuming Renee is not going to fucking be re-raising much, and he just plays his role and calls. So we're three ways to a flop. It comes 3-3-4 three, three, with one spade. Renee and I both check to the button who raised. He bets 2600 and I raise to 8K. I think, yeah, fuck you. Check, raise, eat, eat a dick. Both of them fold. Nice little pot. So out of nowhere, it's 93K in our stack, and we're going into the last break of the day. Rob to the vlog. So we have a uh, 93K going, like three times starting stack, going on the last break of the day. Uh, I just want to say I'm excellent playing. Ryan just complimented me that um, one of the best players you probably played with, right? So at 501K with a 1K button ante. We have pocket queens and raise to 2k from middle position and get three callers. There's 9,500 in the pot. The flop comes 9, 6, 2 with two spades. The blinds check to me and I have one person act behind me. I bet small. Maybe I could have bet bigger, but I bet 3,500 into 9,500. Two of the bozos call. So three ways to a turn. It comes the eight of diamonds. The blind guy checks. We bet 7,000, about one third pot again into 20K. And again, both guys call. So I'm not feeling this so much now, but I bet so small, I probably keep combo draws in, one pairs, even naked flush draws. I, I, I probably played this right. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Nobody knows. I mean, somebody knows. Anyway, the river is a king of clubs. No flush comes in, but I don't know if I get called by worse anymore. So when it checks to me, I check. The other guy checks. I get to see one of the hands. It's ace nine. And we show our queens and another guy mucks. We win. Nice. Nice. The cutoff opens to 2200. And we have eight, nine of hearts on the button. And we just flat. You know, there's a flatting type of hand. Both blinds also call. And, you know, multi-way pots seem to be required by law here in Uruguay. We're four ways to a flop. Comes pretty decent for us. Jack, 10, 7, rainbow. I don't know if you guys know poker, but we have the nuts. This is good. Both blinds call. The cutoff bets 5k. And we decide to just call. Maybe someone else will come along. But even if not, we're in position with the nuts against the guy who's being the aggressor. So it's, it's I think this play is fine. The other, the blinds do fold though. The turn comes the four of your mom. He checks and we need to get value. I'm not going to check back and keep disguising my shit. So we bet big. We bet pot size 20K. Figuring uh, all his jack acts can't can't resist, you know, if he has queens, kings, aces. He has all those. He's on caps, really. Although he probably bet turn again. Anyway, we bet big. I like this decision. 20k. He calls. But this pot's getting big now. And when he calls, I'm a little nervous. Because, I mean, there's 60 bigs in the middle now. I'm not nervous, nervous because I have the nuts currently. But the only rivers that sort of scare me would be the board pairing. And then a seven, which pairs the board, comes on the river. I'm not that comfortable. He checks, and for whatever reason, I didn't feel like I could get paid by much and assumed he has a lot more boats than he does. But if I had thought longer, I would not have done what I did. I checked back, which is fucking awful. We must go for value. Uh, he had ace jack, and we win a nice pot, but we fucked up the river, and this is as costly as any hands that we lose. Not getting value from big spots really fucking hurts. This is really fucking bad. Renee from Storage Wars opens to 3k, 3x for me, P, and we defend with queen eight of clubs in the big blind. Flop comes seven, six, four. Uh, he gives some peak off analysis verbally before betting. He says, uh, this ain't your board, bro. It's like, oh, all right. So we check, and I think we're going to check raise here. But then he bets 6K. He bets big. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yo, I don't know, dude. He's such a blaster. He's playing every hand. I'm like, yo, I'm still going to go with the fucking plan. Fuck you. Fuck you, my sane head. Not Renee. I like Renee. We're, 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 we're very cool. I, I like him a lot. But anyway, so we, we, we raise the 20K, and he snap jams, and he has us covered. And we snap fold, and then he shows fucking jack three of clubs for this savage re-savage re block. Got 120K in our stack now. He then gets us again when I hero call with king jack off. On 73793, hijack versus his button flat. Just because he did the standard play, flatting 5 3 off pre flop, and he gets us again. So now I'm down to 95K. Oh. Blinds are now 600, 1200, the 1200 button, Annie. 
We win uh, two pots at the new table, Queen Eight of Clubs, and then a big ass pot with Ace Jack of Hearts that goes six ways to a flop. So we're back to 130k. We're nearing the end of the night. Blinds are maybe. I don't fuck. I think they're they're got to be the last level of the night. 800, 800, 1600, 1600 button nanny. Cutoff opens to 3500 or something. He has about 35 bigs in his stack, roughly, maybe a little more, right? So he raises to 3500 from the cutoff. We're on the button and look down at Pocket Kings. We three bet to 10.5K. It folds back to the cutoff, and he's had enough of my shit. Even though I literally have not three bet him once, for some reason he just decides to make a stand. He four bet rips his 36 bigs, and we fold. I'm just kidding. We snap call, and it's a classic flip. He has jack six of hearts. <laughs> what a sick spaz. Go to the run out. It was such a nice punt to catch, I felt uncomfortable. Next hand, someone has opened some amount, and we're in the cutoff with ace queen off. We just flat, and then around a 20 big blind stack re jams from one of the blinds. Original opener folds, and we happily call. He has queen 10 suited. You know, we have ace queen versus queen 10 suited. Heart, heart. All right, it's close. it'll be close. I'm being polite here because I can't read the temperature of the room. Spanish, I don't know how much of a dick I can be or not. Oh wow, a nice another saucy baby, a little pop before the end of the night in bag time. We end up bagging 209k. And after the second day one plays, we end up with the second biggest stack heading into day two. Renee of Storage Wars has the biggest stack. I don't know, I, I just call him Renee. We go to a great dinner that night with Mephisto and Rob Kuhn completely unsure of what we were doing because of our awful Spanish. But for some reason, I decided to take point and talk to the waiter, giving both incorrect Uruguayan dollars to US dollar conversion. And additionally, telling Mephisto something on the menu was mashed potatoes, and he ordered it as a side, and it was fucking like apple pie. So I, I blew up at the dinner, it was great. We had a great time. All right, day two of the main event. There was some day in between in real life time where we did some uh, other activities and had and, and played some other event that was we busted too quick for it to be a vlog. But y'all don't give a fuck and neither do I. Let's get to the hands of this. 130 people back out of 330. 70K up top. So we're second in chips. 209K in our stack. 105 bigs because uh, the first level of the day is 1K, 2K with the 2K button, Annie. Like first orbit of the day. Folds to the button. He opens to 4,500. We're in the big button. We look down at King Jack offsuit with the King of Spades. We defend. If we didn't have the king of spades, we would fold. No, I'm joking. But uh, it'll be relevant in a second. Flop comes. Nine, nine, three. Spade, spade, club. We check. The gentleman bets 3K. And we call with our overs, backdoor, flush draw. A lot of equity, very deep. Turn is the five of spades. So we've turned our backdoor flush draw. And we still have overs. Check, check. In the river comes the eight of clubs. Now, many people may say, oh, you could bluff, you could rep, blah, blah, blah. And I would say, maybe you're right. I don't know. So maybe maybe, maybe we could bluff catch. I don't know, dude. But we check. And if he had checked back, we, we would assume we lose because he would just have ace high. But he bets 9K. And then we start thinking, like, why? What, what the fuck? What is he doing? Only thing I got to worry about is an eight. Otherwise, he, he wouldn't bet ace highs, right? So his value is is all pairs but most good pairs like any pair of pocket fours sick through aces would bet on the turn again so this can only be a value bet with an eight or if somehow he decided to not bet a nine again for trips on the turn so i actually end up calling and he has six four off and we win with king high pretty swagged out call but my brain was actually turned on the river whatever we do nothing for the next hour it's hour levels for the next 50 minutes whatever stacks at 228k but we've gone from 130 people down to 92 left 43 are paid blinds are now 1200 2400 with a 2400 button ante we get seated next to rob rob coon and firsthand we're sitting with him he gets felted we mushed him so a couple hands later we have pocket kings under the gun plus one under the gun has raised to 5k and we three bet to 15k Folds to the small blind, who jams for like 9k, so he has less than my 3-bet. Um, under the gun calls, so there's like a small side pot or whatever. The flop comes, ace, queen, eight, two hearts. Under the gun checks, we bet 7k, he calls. Turn brings the flush in, six of hearts. 
he checks and I check back. He just, if he continues again, he has aces or flush. I mean, there's not, there's not much more value to get. We block like King 10, King Jack, all these continues, um, which maybe, maybe means I shouldn't even uh, see bet flop, but whatever. We will check the turn. The river comes the nine of whatever under the gun bets, 26 K and we fold. And it's a lot easier to fold when you know, you're going to get to see, cause he still has to show for the side pot. Not that we were agonizing this fold at all. It was an easy fold. Um, he ended up having a flush and the all in guy had ace four. So we would have lost to both players anyway. So now two hours in, we're at 196K, basically what we started the day with at the first break. Now at 2K, 4K with a 4K button ante, we have King Jack of Clubs on the button. Again, we've looked before the action's on us, which is fine. It's okay to do this. I don't give anything away. Nobody fucking's picking shit up. Early position has jammed 11 big blinds, 43K. Folds to us on the button. We're not really supposed to call. I don't think I need to call, but I'm degenerate and I just wanted to fl I, I call. Um, but then so does the fucking big blind. And he only has 11K behind. It, I, I don't know what, I don't know why he doesn't just jam, but. So the flop comes and it's horrendous. It's all diamonds. Nine, eight, four, all diamonds. And the big blind jams his 11K and I can't fold. I'm getting a billion to one. All we need is 7% equity. We're calling 11K to win a pot. That will be 157K total. We probably got 7%. Make one fucking mistake, especially pre-flop. Those shits compound, but it's only 11K more. We call the all-in guy for 43K has ace nine off, but the other guy has king jack also, but with a diamond. So he's free rolling. We have each other's outs. Diamonds are not outs for me. And the other guy has me fucked. I end up, I luckily no diamond comes. So I get back my 11K, but I lose 43K and our stack's at 145K now. We have pocket fours in early position, same level. We raise to 8K. The hijack flats and a shorty in the big blind calls. I didn't nor notice how short the big blind was when I originally uh, raised this pot. I don't know if I would have done anything different. Th this dynamic I influenced the play in hindsight of my villain in this hand. So we're three ways to a flop. The flop comes. King, nine, five, rainbow. We have pocket fours. Big blind short stack checks, we check. And the dude in the hijack bets 9K. He'd been C-betting every, every single hand he was in. The short stack, big blind folds. And like I said, since he's been C-betting so much, I decide to punt here and check raise to 30K. Um, and he calls. Turn comes a six. And I think I have toxoplasmosis from being in South America or something, some brain worm that makes you impulsive that like a lot of the population actually have. Cause we jam 65 gay. He has pocket aces and we lose 65K more. And uh, yeah, yeah, we fucked that up. All right, so we just totally punted. We down to 11 big blinds. Total punt with fours. So yeah, we punted, we, 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 we fucked up, you know? And we're nearing the bubble and we're, we're just, we're just, that was really dumb. We end up with uh, eight bigs after folding through the blinds. We have around 30 something K. When we get dealt pocket nines, we go all in, we get called. Call? Yeah. Is this punt just gonna end us? Let's go to the fucking flip. Good luck. Nine Thanks. is 18. Oh, you're probably talking to him though. No, I'm talking to you. I know you hate me, but I actually love you. No, I don't hate you. And we double, we survive, back up to 74K. We got 19 bigs. We rejam with king queen off, steal the blinds, but then we fold hands and all this shit. Blah, blah, whatever. We end up with 63K, good for 12 and a half bigs because the blinds are now up, 2,500, 5K, 5K. We have ace, king of hearts, and we just open rip and we get called by pocket eights. We're at risk again. We came in comfortable. I, f I shouldn't have to sweat flips to make the money. I came in second in chips, fuck your mom. Can we win a flip? Can this vlog continue? Go to the fucking footage, bro. Vamo. That means fuck your mother in Uruguayan. So we end up with 100. We got like 128 and a half K. There's now 55 people left. We're, we're on the bubble, basically. The time chips are in play. Again, 43 people paid. And, you know, we got 25 bigs. Now we can play bad again. Ace King of Clubs. We raise early position. Both blinds call. The flop comes. Six, five, three. With two clubs. We have the nut flush draw, bro. Small blind checks. The big blind donks 15K or semi donks multi way. I don't know what the fuck you call it. We call. We wanted to jam, I wrote, but sort of nearing the bubble figured worth it to not. Don't quite know what that means. The small blind folds. The turn comes at three, pairing the board. We both check. And the river is a six. So it's a double paired board. Six, five, three. Three, six. My flush doesn't get there. The big blind who had Don Club flop now bets 15K. 
He looks really nervous. I tank forever. And I eventually call hoping he has four X for some missed, like, I don't even know what random four shit that like like some type of draw that he's just trying to fucking bluff with and he, and once I call I do see he has a four but his other card is a six so he has a full house uh now we're back down to 85k so 85k big blind still 5k you know 53 people left after that six four hand we have a seven of hearts under the gun we raised to 10k the small blind calls and the big blind jams having us covered so we have to fold then we pass through the blinds again. So now, out of nowhere, we got 13 big blinds again. We're back down to 66K, just like that. After a poorly played ace king, a raise and necessary fold, and then folding through the blinds, back where we fucking started before the second double with ace king. Now, this hand is a little saucy way to generate chips when you have uh, 12 bigs. Fold starts on the button, and we look down at queen eight of hearts. We limp. This is a thing players do. I, I don't know. Both players complete, or whatever. Obviously, the big blind completes. The small blind calls, big blind checks. The flop comes. Nine of hearts, six, two. So we have backdoor flush draw, and over and under the top card, whatever. They both check. We bet one big blind, and they both call. I'm like, fuck, dude. Why am I fucking wasting two big blinds out of my 12? This is, I'm an idiot. Then the turn comes an ace. And I'm like, yo, yo, that's me. They both check, and I bet 21K, and they both fold. Let's fucking go. 91K. We just added like 30% to our stack. That's that's great. We're now at 3K, 6K with a 6K. Button Annie, we jam pocket queens. Everyone folds. And now there's 47 left. 43 paid. Trying to tank. We don't really want to play hands. 3K, 6K with a 6K button ante. Button raises to 12K. And we're in the big blind with 6-4 of clubs. We call. Flop is 3-2-2 two, two with one club. So we have a gut shot, straight draw, backdoor flush draw. We check. He bets 7K. And we raise to 25K, leaving ourselves 70K behind our raise. He just calls. So we have a little less than pot behind. There's 80K in the pot now going to the turn. We have 75K. And again, I'm like, damn, yo, it's near the bubble. Why am I being spicy? I kind of regret it once he calls. But that's, that's kind of results-oriented thinking. And you want to know about results-oriented thinking. I'm the greatest fucking player of all time because a five comes on the turn. And I jam 70, 70K into the 80K pot. And he calls with queen two of clubs. He flop trips. We get the ultimate suck out. Thank God clubs didn't come. Thank God fucking whatever. Your mom didn't come. We double up. We got 229K now, hand for hand. On the bubble, more than we started the day with. A roller coaster day two. 28 big blinds. Let's go. Do my notes don't make fucking sense? I don't know. I wrote down that we have 28 big blinds somewhere in here, but I think I got up to like 300k. I'm very confused. Anyway, we're on the bubble hand for hand. It's 4k, 8k with an 8k button ante. Um, the hands must have not been significant, or I would not bring you this nonsense dog shit, right? Everyone anti sweats there and openly cheers. It's pretty funny once we make the money. Usually in America, they're very polite in your way, but usually everyone in the U.S. waits for the person to leave the room before cheering they're just openly anti-sweating and i really appreciate that so right as we make the money we uh get in a little situation where we got a seven suited versus a guy's 10 nine suited for about six big blinds 48k go to the footage of that you lose but I, Perfect. I, I i you know it's things to lose that but i could afford it whatever now we raised to ace queen off in middle position to 16k the big blind defends the flop comes queen, six, three with two diamonds. Obviously, we love top, top. He checks. We bet 13K and he just jams. He check raise jams his 16 big blind stack, 114K. We snap call and he has queen eight right away. He's like, fuck, this is so sick. We're in the money. He has 11%. I, I, like, I'm about to have 450K in my stack. I'm asking the guy next to me, how many years ago was it you was made? Oh, no. Eight came on the turn. Real Uruguayan shit. Oh. Just had to sit there and take it. That, that one hurt. I mean, yeah, that one hurt. That that hurt. Whatever. It just hurt. It just hurt my soul. But we still got 120k at 8k big blind, which is 15 bigs, and we've been move, maneuvering the short stack. So we're trying not to be too cranky of a bitch. There's 39 people left or something. Uh, we have ace five suited in the big blind. Under the gun is open to 18k, and we decide to jam. He folds, and we end up with 160k. Now we got 20 bigs for this next hand at 4k, 8k, 8k still. The hijack opens to 16k, and it folds us on the button with ace king off. We three bet most of our stack, and then the big blind cold calls all in for 94k. 
the hijack folds, and we're up against pocket jacks for two-thirds of our stack. Can we be lucky more? We just got unlucky with the ace queen. Fucking stupid catch race. Go to the footer. Go to the footage. Damn. All right. We got eight big blinds left. 65K. Ace, eight of clubs. Some guy's open. We're in the cutoff or button. I don't know exact positions, but I know that for eight bigs, ace, eight suited is good enough. We almost go all in. We put in most of our stack. We leave about 10K behind or something. Folds around to the original opener, and he calls and flips his hand over, king, queen. But I wasn't all in. So I don't have to turn my hand over. Not that I give a shit. I would show him. Um, I don't think they even bother calling the floor. And for whatever reason, the flop comes out, and it comes king high. Maybe I can get away from this. Oh, no, but there's two clubs. We're not getting away from it. It's a really interesting spot. I sit there tanking just because I can get a pay jump. But, I mean, I know I'm calling. I wonder, I mean, if, if it came king, king whatever he fucked up right i would get to fold so always be aware if your opponent's putting all their stack we're going to be at risk all in again we have some amount of outs can we do more than a min cash can we keep the dream alive go to the fucking footage Ace of clubs. Need a club. uh, uh. min cash 1685 oh well <laughs> Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.